Hey what is up guys? Today in this video, I have a budget gaming mouse that is quite famous for its price and has a potential to be the cheapest 8 decent mouse of 2020. As PC gaming is a very serious pastime for many people these days due to the viruses and the obvious lockdown, today in this video, I have the X7 Blast gaming mouse from the Fantech. And before we begin, if you want more budget gaming content in this channel, then subscribe to the channel with the bell icon so that you won't miss our upcoming videos and now, let's get started. As my title says, this is the cheapest gaming mouse of 2020. So let's start with the pricing of this mouse so that you can decide whether to watch the full video or leave it from here. The Fantech X7 Blast Macro RGB Gaming Mouse comes at the price of just 10 to 11 dollars and if you apply the coupon code NG5 which you just need to message them while ordering from the Fantech official Facebook page and you will get an additional 5% discount on it. The buying link is in the description and you can buy it from there. This is the optical gaming mouse that is designed for the people with the smaller hands and if you have larger hands then it will take some time for you to adapt to use it on a daily basis. The cool thing about the X7 Blast is the extra buttons on the side which is very useful for the macros but it will also take some time getting used to it but the software allows you to easily change the functions on there as well as control the RGB lighting which is very remarkable that Fantech has offered in this segment. The mouse is a little heavy with 136 grams. However, it is easier to pick up during gaming but one thing I noticed using this mouse for a week is it produces a medium loud clicky sound while clicking but it has a life expectancy of more than 10 million clicks which makes this mouse a solid for couple of years. It is also a very flat mouse so it's not ideal for the claw or the finger type grips but the palm users however you can see it is made for you as it feels great. The scroll wheel has some texture which prevents finger from slipping even if you have oily or sweaty hands. The cord is braided and very flexible however the plastic on the mouse has no texture but it still feels comfortable while holding. For gaming, it's not bad and definitely gets the job done as it is very light and tracks well. However, it has the ABS plastic side grips which I am not a fan of but the grip does the job done for its pricing. The side buttons are easy to reach. It would have been great if it has some texture on the side buttons as it has on the scroll wheel but it's not a big deal. The lighting on the mouse is pretty cool and there is even a dedicated DPI button which lets you change the DPI up to 4800. The button click is a little bit spongy but I have not faced any performance issue making these solid mouse options for writers like me. The shape of the mouse is pretty good however sometimes you will feel the mouse is a little heavier on the back. As there are a couple of minimal drawbacks on this mouse but at $11 this is a lot of mouse for the money if you are out to increase your macro game or even if you just want to use it as a productivity at the office. And with my experience of using this mouse for a week. I can't find any reason not to give a mouse 4.5 star out of the 5. If you are on a budget and are looking for an entry level gaming mouse, Fantech X7 could be your choice. So this is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to toss that like to show your support and if you didn't, you know what to do. And let me know if I missed any promising mice that comes at this price segment. We still got keyboards, mousepad and microphones coming up guys. So make sure you are subscribed and with this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.